Hello and welcome back to the Rag Yaman Sitar lesson series. I'm Will Marsh, we're in the key of D. And on the previous lessons, we've learned all the parts of a Vilumbit speed gut in Rag Yaman. We've learned the main gut, the manja, and the antara. So I want to start today by playing through this full piece that we've learned. And then I'm going to break down and show you a couple variations and ornaments that you can add into this beautiful composition. So again, Vilumbit means slow, and so we're in slow teen tall. I'm at the speed of 43 beats per minute. Let's go ahead and play through the main gut, the manja, the antara, and then back. Here we go. Ta, bin, bin, ta. Da, din, din, da, na, din, din, the mukra. main framework of this Vilumbit piece we've learned. Hopefully you have that under your fingers clearly because now I'm going to show you a couple ornaments that you can add and that's one of the main features of this Vilumbit style is it's slow enough that there's a lot of room for expression and ornamentation. And I've been playing some of them throughout so you may have already picked some up which is great and if not I'll go in and start showing you some. So let's start in the very first part of the composition, the mukara, and let's look at an uh, ornament we can add here. Now the basic part of the mukara is Now, hear this. What am I doing different here? Here's the original and the new part. So I'm adding and that need is happening on the ga fret. Instead of just going ga pa, I'm going ga ma pa. Try just that bend there from ga, like this. Try it. Now with me. Now let's add that into the mukra so we have Try that with me. One, two. Again. One and two and First variation. Now our next variation, let's play this one. Try it with me. Two, three, four, and me. We'll be right here. Instead of just playing Mama, 
I'm going to do an ornament around that paw. For this one, I'm going to do a crinton. Crinton is like a hammer-on and pull-off style on sitar. So what we have is... And this movement happens in one stroke. My second finger is on da. I pull that off. I slide the first finger back. And then my first finger comes back on for pa. So watch my fingers. It's important that the first finger does not pick up at all so that you get the sustain. So this is our second ornament and that'll be so it happens fast that's how it fits in there let's try it from the sum the first beat Try it with me nice and slow. Here we go. Back to the Mukro variation. So we have two ornaments. Let's add one more after we do the crinton. We're going to do... So we have another gumma pa phrase instead of the original. We're going to do... Let's go from... Two, three, four. Here we go. Great, we've got three ornaments. Now it's important to get these uh, correct and intonationally correct, start practicing them. But when you play, you want to include different versions. You don't wanna just always play the ornament. Playing the original is good too. What we're looking for is variety. We want to make each phrase sound alive and new. So that's a part of the beauty of this raga music is there's always a freedom to add a different touch or a different angle on the same composition. And now we have these three ornaments, the two means and the crinton. I'm going to add one more for you, and it's going to be another variation on the same place where the crinton is. So instead of that, we're going to do So this one is a mint. Let me play it for you in time. So. So that's. I'm doing that mean all from the pa fret with my second finger. 
and the timing is like but I need up a try that but I need up a try it with me again so this is a nice note other variation at this point where we have the crinton Let's do it in time here. So we'll go from the sum, the first beat, ga. Here we go. Ga. That's how it fits. Mama, Great, so now you have four ornaments you can add to this composition. I encourage you to practice them, get them nice and clean and comfortable and in time, and then just play the composition and, and let different uh, phrases come to you, whether it's the ornament or the main composition, and that's the goal. And you may even find a few inflections of your own. You may pick up on other ones that I've played. But now that you have the core of this composition, it's time to make it expressive. So enjoy uh, practicing that. That concludes our lesson 17. Thanks so much for joining me as always. If you haven't subscribed, it will let you know when the next classes are ready. And if you are in need of more guidance or you have more questions that would be better answered in a one-on-one -on -one session, I do offer those. I am happy to conduct a private lesson with you, you can check those lessons out via my website, willmarshmusic.com. It's been great having you. See you on the next lesson.